This is the A to B Kuo Plus, and it's improved over last year's version. This is for 2015, by the way. It's uh, about 1700 bucks, and the big improvement here, we've got a 350 watt geared rear hub motor, and the battery is now 36 volt, nine amp hour. Before, it was just a little bit weaker. So it's neat to see this thing sort of being refined, taking the next step. Uh, as far as folding boat bikes go, it's just under 40 pounds, which is pretty good, and it's using those 20 inch wheels, which give you a little bit more mechanical advantage for climbing, and they also make it lower and more compact when you actually do fold it, and I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to go over the bike specs for you real quick here. We've got Shimano Alivio cassette, seven speeds in the rear, and that's pretty good range for a folding bike. Um, on the front, I've noticed they've got this like alumina alloy bash guard slash chain guide. So that's gonna keep your chain on track from kind of flopping around, whether you're folding it or going over some rough terrain. Maybe you've got this stored on your boat or your RV and uh, you know, the terrain can vary in different different places. So it's nice that they've just, they've got it set up, uh, you know, to be to be versatile like that and, and durable. Um, they've also set it up to handle all kinds of different weather conditions. Cause you can see there's front and rear fenders. We've got this nice, uh, lighting system here, LED in the rear, as well as the front. And this one's, you know, kind of adjustable. You can aim it down at the road if you need to. And if you're in a place that you aren't used to, it's important to be able to, you know, look out for your safety that way. So I love that they, they paid attention to that. Um, the brake levers on this are also sort of upgraded. They're Tektro and they've got an electronic cutoff, so it kills the motor when you activate them. They pull these standard rim brakes, you know, and, and that's actually that's pretty solid for a bike like this that's a little bit more affordable, sub 2,000 bucks for a folding bike. Um, you know, rim brakes are fine and mechanical works pretty well if it's like super cold. These are gonna be a little easier to, to fiddle with. Um, and you know, you can get some new pads if you need to uh, in most bike shops across the country and really the world. The cranks on these are also a little bit longer. So this bike feels um, more like a traditional bike than maybe the original Kuo. So it's just, you know, like I said, they're, they're refining it. Still got the folding pedals right here. You can see there's this like metal box thing and it, that's sort of also helping to protect the chain teeth or the <laughs> chain ring teeth on the front if you fold this and set it down and it protects the controller which is built right into there. I should say that the battery pack is removable so you can like slide that thing right off and uh, you know reduce the weight of this bike further if you're transporting it and maybe keep the battery inside if the bike has to be left on your boat and it's going to get super cold or super hot or something. It's just it's cool that it's removable like that and it sort of slides off the other side. To activate it, there's actually that switch that I was messing with right there. Here's the charging port under this little rubberized tab. And then there's a power button on the display. It's got five levels of assist in addition to a trigger throttle. And I love that. Having both gives you the ability to extend your range by using pedal assist, maybe for climbing, but it also means that you can keep your feet up if you're going through a puddle or trying to balance you know, some cargo uh, and just use that, that trigger throttle. It is sort of reverse, so you kind of have to push it forward, but you know, in my experience, it takes a few minutes to get used to and then you're, you're fine. Um, I wanted to also point out the rack in the back. It's pretty solid and it uses standard gauge tubing as well as this like spring-loaded gripper. It's got the nice blockers on the side so nothing's gonna get snagged in the, in the spokes back there. Just really solid. Um, also the reflective sidewall on the tire. Should have called that out with the lights. It just gives you even more, uh, you know, visibility when you're, when you're riding along in a new place. Did wanna find the, um, the exact size, 20 by 1.95 K-Shield puncture resistant tires. So they look pretty solid. Um, a little bit thicker rubber right there and you know these are set up sort of for road but a little bit squishier because there really aren't any suspension elements no seat post shock no uh, stem shock right here or fork but um, you know it's a folding bike so it's kind of how it works they did include a bottle cage uh, brazon setup right here which is nice your bottle will be completely horizontal so make sure that lids on tight but it's cool they did that and uh, you know gave you the, the option you can also get like these add-on ones that go right here uh, under your seat or maybe you know a little pack for the back that could hold your bottle that sort of thing this one has a little bell on it got these nice ergonomic grips because uh, you know the the handles are pretty flat straight and also a little bit narrower so at least they're kind of tuning it up here to make the ride more comfortable the display panel it's lcd you know it's reasonable reach here you are going to have to to kind of reach over like this to to uh turn the bike on and to cycle through the pedal assist levels. It's that M button right there. So pedal assist one, two, three, four, five, zero. It just, it circles around. There's no up or down. And then information changes different display modes. So you can see the battery pack 
uh, capacity here along with your trip meter and your speed and that pedal assist. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop on this thing and give it a go. I do like that as opposed to doing a grip shifter on the right, they've got the trigger shifter for those seven speeds. Just keeps the, you know, it's, it's like more comfortable to hold a grip versus like half and half in my opinion. Um, got the kickstand going. Oh, and a magnetic clasp. We'll show that when we fold it in just a little bit. So I'm gonna try to, try to do the trigger throttle. Look at that, pedal assist mode zero and the, uh, and the throttle still works. Pretty quiet motor. You know, not super powerful, but uh, getting the job done and keeping this thing light. Yeah, and look at that. When I go up to pedal assist level five, I'm getting more power from the throttle. pretty cool. I kind of like the cadence sensor sometimes when you don't want to have to push and strain yourself. And this does feel more comfortable like a regular bicycle with those longer um, cranks down there. So I think they've done a good job in terms of balance and, uh, you know, refining this for the Kuo Plus. Now I'm going to go get some help here uh, for folding it. Hey, how's it going, Kyle? Excellent. <laughs> this guy's from A to B, uh, letting me demo this bike at Inner Bike 2014. This is a 2015 model, and he's gonna help me fold this up real quick. So, what's the first step? Like, so the first step is there's a nice little safety clasp right here. You just turn that out of the way so that oh, you can release the lever. It's kind of unique. Folds down right there, very simply. Yep. Next step, same thing, little safety clasp. Pull that out, ready to go. Got it. Both pedals also fold in. So that's nice. And there's the magnet and there's right magnet here. There, and then you'll notice there's another magnet on the front fork. Those just come together. Okay. Are you ready to go? Excellent. Yeah, and at under 40 pounds, like that's really. Uh, yeah, it's really easy. Most people, you know, what they'll do is they'll just roll it around like this, actually. That way oh, easy. yeah. Look at that. Through the train station. Huh. No problem. Or you can, you know, put the seat down and make it even, when even you smaller if you need. Most people do exactly that. Oh, and there's the metal. See, that's what I was talking about. That protects it. It kind of sits on that metal box where the. Uh, controller on the bike is and there's the cadence sensor that's a really good shot of a cadence sensor up close this 12 sensors are pretty smooth it felt good when I was pedaling around and uh, again here's the here's the motor back here so yeah it's pretty solid setup hmm. okay. well that is the A to B Kuo plus for 2015 for the full write-up on this with specs and pictures see you back at electricbikereview.com thanks a lot Kyle